Yeah, man. Raid Difficulty 3. Welcome back to another episode of my Invasion series. So, unfortunately, the last episode I recorded, um, my microphone's um, cable was, like, I guess partially unplugged while the light was on. It recorded none of my voice sound, which is completely bizarre, but I do have it recorded, unfortunately. Um, just to let you know, so, Dino Riding Creepers are a thing now. Creepers with laser guns are a thing now. Uh, so we're going to target this guy up here, see if we can get some stuff on him, and then I'll walk you through what I kind of did last episode. We can hit this guy up here. So we killed a couple of these creepers last episode. There's the dino. We, uh, killed a couple of creepers last episode. I don't know if we're going to hit, we hit this guy. What's going on here? And, uh, we picked up some material and we started building a laser gun, but what we need... Is, this guy's like armored. What do you think? Do we go after him? Probably, huh? Probably a bad idea. Dude. Here he comes. It's like a freaking velociraptor. Oh. I guess you have to be with a certain distance. You coming or what? I'm right here. Yo! He's friggin' armored. Target acquired. 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 These guys are tougher now too. Well, it is raid difficulty three, so... Wow, look at the sword on this guy. What's up, buddy? Can I have that? You don't want it, do you? That's a big-ass sword. Did you drop it? Drop something. I guess maybe because the creeper's not on him. Maybe he doesn't have any, uh... Doesn't have any, um, control over what he does. So at Raid Difficulty 3, you can see how much tougher these big guys are. And I think I can make a dino too at some point. Ow! I didn't hit that hard. Oh, you hit me. What did I get here? Something. Got some, oh, this is what we want right there. So these guys have got gunpowder. There's another one down there. Smoked them. If they're not on a dino, it's not so bad. But I thought these guys were supposed to attack even the regular mobs. But like maybe they don't. There's another one over there. We're out here getting stuff for our blaster. We're going to do this first, and then I'll show you guys what was going on. Oh, there's a friggin' which I'm staying over there all right let's get back inside god these boots are amazing okay so we started working on our launch facility for our rocket that we have to build and what I wanted to do was build it underground so I started working on this basically what I'm doing is like extending this out I started doing it down there, and then I started getting attacked. Like, the farther I got out here, the more piranha I got attacked by. So, I've been trying to, like, just do it this way. See? Pragna. And then I just dropped the friggin' dirt down this way. I don't know how many of those guys have died. He's gonna die. You're gonna die. If you want fish, I guess this is kind of a good way to do it. Just stand up here until they die and hopefully they drop you something. But anyway, so the thought behind this missile silo was that I was going to... We can jump down here. I was going to um, dig it down even further than this so that we can have our whole missile underground. And chances are it probably still will be. We're getting pretty close to getting it wide enough here. I think we need to go out a few more blocks. But it's getting pretty close here. 
and we're going to decorate it a little bit too when we do this but right under here if I just kind of grab this up this is that place we lit up a few episodes ago so I couldn't really go down much further than what I did here not without some difficulty so I just kind of got it to where I was okay with it we got it you know we're down a few blocks here down about seven or eight blocks which is okay oh did I hit my head I did there we go so yeah that's that and if we go down here oh, what are you shooting probably fish again so we made a few things uh, I got a couple of more blocks of redstone put down here just because redstone is one of the things we're going to want to use a fair bit of coming up here. So let's put this stuff away. Let's put uh, you... I'm not going to... I'll work on the... Um, now that you've seen the silo, I'm going to work on that off camera, I think. Uh, that, that kind of stuff is like... I mean, it's okay to watch, but it's really not that exciting overall. Let's put this stuff in here. You can go in here. You can go in here. The bone and the fletch go in here. Oh yeah, we, we tried to get, uh, the last episode, we tried to get this up and working. And I don't know why this just won't work. No matter what I did, I couldn't get it to work. Now, it's I got it to dump everything straight into here. And then it just kind of stopped working. It doesn't have any power. And I have no idea why it's fully powered. Like, it's all set up with power and everything. There's no breaks in the line. And I must have spent, I don't know, 20 minutes trying to figure out why this thing wasn't working. I still can't get it to work. It worked for a little bit and then just completely stopped. And I put this on here, oops, hoping that that would get it to work, right? Redstone mode always active, and it still doesn't do anything, right? It's just not generating any power, so I kind of gave up on it. Um, I don't know what to do. I mean, I might go back and try and get it to work, but we got other thing, pressing matters to deal with. I'll probably try and figure it out off camera, but I've used this mod, I don't know, like so many times. I've never once had an issue with it, so I don't know why I'm having an issue now. Um, the power is coming in here, no problem. Oh, uh, wait. That says out. Why does that say out? Maybe I need to take this off. See if this makes a difference. Ah, now it's working. Oh, for Christ's sake. So it's going to steal power from our... Uh, anyway. I don't know why that did that. I still don't know why I did that. Whatever. It's working now. I must have flipped it by mistake somehow. Anyway, at least you didn't get to see all that painfulness. Um, so in here... T-Rex part. Cool. Got to figure out what these do. Uh, we, am, we we ended up getting a Creepistle creep Bazookoid. I'll show you what that does, because you missed it last episode. And we need to get nine of these creep uh, laser creeper plasma so that we can get this um, uh, plasma gun up and running uh, or laser blaster, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we got five now, so we're going to go out hunting and get some more today. I want to get this up and running today. That'd be kind of cool. And we've got some other machines built here. Precision Assembler, Rocket Monitoring Station. We picked up the input output hatch, Fielding Station. Now, there was a few other things that we wanted to get. We're going to have a look at our book here real quick. Um, so if we go to Blast Off, we got a few of these done last episode. We got these three done. So the precision assembly, the preparing for takeoff, which was the um, rocket monitoring station, which gave us the missiles. Uh, also fill her up, we got this done. But these other two, we're gonna take quite a while. Um, chemical reactor, and especially the um, electrolyzer, there's a lot of things. We have to build machines to make this, uh, and there's a lot of steps to do it. So I'm probably not gonna do that today. I might do it off camera, I don't know, maybe not. I'll probably do it, I don't know, I'll probably do it on camera, I don't know. We'll figure it out. So let's figure out what these guys do here. So let's click on this, hover over it, hit U, shows you the use. So a raw T-Rex, oh man. So we need to get an egg somehow. Saddle's no problem. T-Rex control module, and that's it, eh? So I have to kill a lot of T-Rexes. That's kind of cool. It's melting a furnace to weld together. That's interesting. Okay, cool. 
Well, we're going to have to get a lot of those, so let's go see what this creep pistol does here. Creep pistol bazookoid. Let's go see if we can find some creepers out here. So we do need to kind of get some stuff from these creepers. And maybe we go on a walkabout today. What do we got on us? Potatoes. Let's put those potato potatoes in the potato gun. Take the sticks, the stones, so we don't get our bones broken. Put these guys in here. Let's put these in the potato gun, which really hasn't been doing a lot of firing. I think what I might do, let's put these in here. Let's crank it up to seven. Well, it's 16. Why not? Sure. Okay, let's do some wandering. Um, I got to be careful shooting this creep pistol gun because it fires fast and like we use up a lot of ammo. I don't know how to make it. I haven't actually looked into making it. Oh, there's a dog. So let's get this guy. What's up, buddy? Oh. What the hell, man? Did I just completely miss you? Probably. What the hell? That, you guys saw that one right through him. What the farg? I had a hard time when I was targeting the creepers, too. Let's just re repair this. Just so if we're running around here at night, we don't get stuck. Huh. We almost got all of it back. Interesting. All right, let's go see if we can... It's quiet today. Let's go see if we can find some guys to kill. Um, and if we can find some more drops. Oh, Christ, there's a witch here somewhere. <laughs> I don't know how to kill this guy. Obviously, the missiles ain't doing it. Yeah, you stay there crying. I ain't coming back over there. Not interested. Sorry, not taking that bait. Not taking that bait. Okay, let's get across the water here. Gotta love these boots. Have I said that yet? Have I told you how much I love these boots? Because, damn. Alright, we don't need much out of here. I think we're fine without this stuff. We can always come back here and grab it later anyway. Okay, there's a drop. Let's grab this one. I'm gonna grab a few of these if we can. God, the only thing I don't like about these boots is going uphill like this. Anything else over here? I think we grabbed the ones that were over here. Oh, one down there. Come on. Speedy. There we go. So, I like the... Um, the dark steel boots with speed on them, but uh, they use power, right? They use RF. So you have to keep them powered. So it can be kind of a pain. Alright, well, let's get back up here. Oh, another one. I thought I saw one over here. There we go. They got somebody up here. What's this guy? That's a rat. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Fell in the water, probably. Alright, let's grab our stuff. Nah, really? Really? Grab this stuff. And this stuff. Wow, really lousy drops here. What's going on? Grab the experience, because we always need that. What's up, rat? XP for the weapon, and for us. Alright, get back over here. Yeah. We'll just throw stuff out in a second. So some guys are easy to kill, and other guys are just not easy to kill. Wow, that was lousy. Really... 
Okay, and get up the hill. Now we got our diamond backpack on it still. I'm pretty sure of that. Come on. So slow. Yeah, we do. Okay, let's just move these over. What's up, buddy? So we're at a point now where not too worried about stuff. Unless we get, they'd spawn right on top of us. I'm not really worried about what spawns. There's going to come a time in the game where you're just like, yeah, we can start roaming around relatively freely now. Of course, now that I said that, I'll bet you all die here somewhere. Take this stuff, drop it in here, grab you. And I don't really need that. I don't know why I grabbed it. Let's just ditch it. We got another one in here too, I think, don't we? Yeah, let's ditch that. Going to grab the food for the cans. Eh. Oh, we put this in there by accident. Don't want to do that. So I guess maybe those creep pistols are really just for um, taking on the uh, the creeper and the dinos. Maybe that's why they're called creep pistols. Boom! How you like me now? Uh, what's is there, was this a is this a village thing over here? I can't remember what this was now. Oh yeah, right. Oh, there's a dino. So, creep pistol. I don't think that did too much. He's still alive. It did! Nice. Oh yeah, what do we get here? Got one of those and one of those. So we have to kill a lot of those guys. So I guess those creep missiles do do a lot of damage to those dinos. So it's probably a good thing that we use them. We grabbed everything out of here already. Is there anything in here? Not really. Where are you? Thank goodness those uh, like things like grass and stuff stop those from uh, hitting us. Yeah. Let's just ditch this. Can always use the stone. Can always use these. Alright, what else do we got over here? Now we were in... We Yeah, we grabbed the fridge from that building. What's up, buddy? You out here all by yourself? Shouldn't be out here by yourself. Can I give you a hand? Probably, huh? There's going to be mobs here. You know that, right? Mobs are going to show up, man. Just giving you a fair warning. Let's do this. Move this over and put this down just in case we need to bug out. Did we go up to that tower? Can't remember if we did or not. We're going to go up there in a minute. Probably don't want to stand right on that. Yeah, I'm talking to you, man. If that shit falls from the sky and lands on you, you're dead. You know that, right? Okay. You stay right there. I'm just going to go over here for a second. Because I have to check out this hole. Uh, you stand right there. You'll be just fine. I'm sure, I'm sure of it. Whoa, you got so lucky. That was close. Don't really need the rope. Wow, it's going to be a dark night. So we're going to get the hell out of here. Did I not get the... I didn't get the uh, thing there. I wonder if we can get up that tower fast enough. Yeah, it's not totally dark. But it got dark really fast. Alright, where's the ladder here? There you are. Let's check what's here. Now these guys can... They'll just burn this tower down. They don't care. They are nasty. Let's take everything. Why not? Yeah, well. We'll burn this whole place to the ground. So let's just head home. 
No point in staying here. We're not going to get much out of this. Alright, there we are. I am going to empty this backpack and I shall be right back. And we're back. Alright, so let's grab... Put some stuff away in here. Where, where do we put the... Uh, here they are. Let's grind these up. Alright, so uh, I think maybe what we'll do today is we will attempt to do those um, quests. So let's move this stuff out of the way here. Let's attempt to do that stuff. Uh, electrolyzer. So we need to get a few machines going here. Um, electrolyzer. So liquid IO circuit boards. We need steel plates. Redstone torch. Machine structure we do have. User interface. I've made a couple of extra because I knew I needed them. So let's start making a few of these. Let's get the, the steel plates. Uh, so what do we got here? We got, we need a machine structure. We need one of these guys. We need two steel plates. I don't think we have any plates left. Let's make a couple of plates. Got a ton of steel right now. Put these down here. Once again, it's nice to have the power going full speed. If I can actually hit what I'm supposed to hit here. It's taking forever for this stuff to grow, man. For a handful of ender pearls. All right, so that's that done. Now we need a control circuit board, which is powdered copper, an iron plate, okay, and wood, which we got. And this one is lapis again, an iron plate and gold. So we need four redstone, four lapis, four copper grit, which we've got. So four copper grit, we need two diamonds, and four redstone. Then we need four lapis, which we're running short of, which is why, one of the reasons why I'm out looking for stuff right now. So four lapis, so now we just need two iron plates. Is that all? Right? Two iron plates? Oh yes, and the two slabs, which I think we've got in here still. I think we saved, yeah we did. Two slabs, okay, so let's do that first. Uh, we need plates, so give me my iron. My iron, one. It's moving much much smoother today. Probably because now that I'm because I'm playing, I don't have stuff going on in the background on my computer. Well, it's getting maybe not. As soon as I said that, it got all jer jerky on me. All right, so let's do this. We're gonna do this. Oop, we need another machine part. What are they called again? Machine structure. So let's get that in here. And uh, we can, we can stack them. Yeah, we can stack them. Thought we could stack those. Wait, do we need more steel plates? It's the oh, it's redstone, right? What am I getting wrong here? Iron plate, slab, copper dust, copper dust, iron plate, oh, slab, dir. Uh, we need that for later. We need the slab in here and the lapis, right? Yep. <sighs> we only need one of these. Oh, man. Sometimes, I swear to God, I'm just, like, ADHD is, is, can just be, like, the worst thing in the world sometimes. All right, so, and then other times, it's, like, amazing. Redstone torch. It's amazing. Uh, where's the redstone torches? We don't have any, so let's make some. You just need one. That's easy enough to do with a shtick. And now we need to do the hard parts, which are these guys. So basic circuits. We need basic circuit plates, which are silicone wafer, gold, and redstone, and a precision assembler, which we have. But in order to make silicone wafers, we need it to cut them from a silicone bool in a cutting machine, which we have to get a crystallizer going in order to do that. So we got to make a crystallizer now. So let's do that. A lot of steps here. God, I can't even spell either. Crystallizer. Crystallizer. Crystal. Crystal. Crystal I. God. Crystal. I'm spelling it wrong again. 
Is that it? There we go. Two L's. Brr. Okay. Another one of these guys. Another one of these guys. Redstone repeater. Two of them. Steel plates. Nether quartz. We've got all the materials. It's just doing it. So let's do that. We need um, more copper dust, which I think we probably have some in here now. Yeah, we're going to give us enough. Oh, we got more diamonds too. Yeah, man. Let's cook those suckers up. And let's get the iron out of here and get that going too. I think we're going to need a lot of steel, which is why I'm kind of trying to stay on top of this. Come on. I'm trying to stay on top of keeping the materials that we need up and running here. So we need four gold for that. We need uh, slabs again. We're going to need uh, nether quartz. We need another machine uh, thingy mabobber. We need some more slabs, which I don't think we actually get any in here, do we? I don't think we get any in here. So let's do that and we'll make some slabs. And drop this in here. And this in here. I'll just use two of those ones, I guess. Oh, right. We can't do it that way because dir. All right. So let's put this away and this away. And just grab. You know what? Let's grab acacia wood again. So at least they can stack. Which really doesn't matter. But why not? Okay. And redstone and diamonds. It's a good thing we cooked up those diamonds. Not that we needed them, but we do have them now. One, two, three, four. We should be able to make this without a problem. So this, 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 that, and iron plates, which we don't have yet. Okay, iron plates. Wait, I think, didn't we need a steel plate for one of those? I don't think so. That's for this one. These guys are iron. All right, let's make the iron plates. See you. Man, all this. I guess if it was easy, it uh, just take away from the game. But the lovely thing about this is like, you kind of got time to, if, you, if you're built where I build, you got time to kind of do it. If you're like inland, it's a completely different story. Okay, so what do we need here now? Crystallizer, we got the machine structure. We need redstone repeaters, which are torches and stone. Uh, we need two of those. Actually, do the repeaters make two when we do that, or do they only make one? I think they only make one, don't they? Yeah. So six redstone and six stone. And do we have any stone in here? We got one stone. And two stone. We're one short, figures. I guess I could have just... You know, I like... You know, I could I could easily just go ahead and just do it this way all the time. But I like... Because we have those extra little things that we're doing, I like kind of using them because it... Where'd it go? Did we not... Did I miscalculate the number of stones we had? Highly probable. Most likely, actually. Let's grab six redstone. Okay. We need four torches. Okay, I think we've got enough now for the redstone repeaters. All right, we got to make two. Like that. One, two. And then what else do we need? We got these two. We need a steel plate, which we already have. Well, let's make another one. We're going to need to make another one anyway. Thank goodness we're getting redstone here. Maybe burned out of redstone if we didn't. Okay. Taking forever. Thank you. All right, let's put this sucker together now. Crystallizer, uh, you, 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 and you, and we need one of these. We got another one back there. So there's the crystallizer. Okay, so now we can get. Oh my God, it's taking forever. Um, 
we needed another it's in here you know in here here it is okay so uh crystallizer power let's get some power we'll take this guy out of here because we're not using it right now and of course you won't take power that way because why would you where do you take power yeah thanks for that um like that no how do i get power in the crystallizer um that's interesting RF takes RF. Ooh, that lithium crystals, nice. Silicone ingot and silicone nuggets. Electric arc furnace mix ingots. My God, how many machines do I need? Alloy smelter, silicone dust is uh, pulverizing, pulverizing silicone is easy enough because we can just go and go like this right and we can go to our pulvis she's one of those don't know if it's going to give us enough Ooh, good thing I put the stick in there all right there's our silicone dust now all we got to do is cook that Okay, so that's the silicone bars. Uh, we're going to need another one. Going to need another one. Let's do that real quick. Get that done. Ah, figures. Whatever. Uh, let's actually make a few of these. Like so. Some bars. Because we're going to need nuggets as well, right? So we might as well uh, get that going. Okay, come on. Hurry up. Did I put too much in there? I guess I did. I was thinking about the output and not the input. Okay, so that's going. Um, and I just got to figure out how we're going to get power. Let's put the slice and splice over here for now. How are we going to get power to this thing? Um, I thought for sure it would take... Maybe it takes power on the bottom. It's a possibility. Find out in a second, though. Find out in a second. Nope. Is this part of a multi-block? Why is it not taking power? Do we need the wrench? Where is the wrench? Nope. All right, I had to figure this out. Um, give me a few minutes, I'll figure it out and be right back. All right, guys, well, we figured out how to get this thing working here. So we got the crystallizer. We need an input and output hatch, which we have. Um, power input plug, which we need to make. And gold coil, copper coil, or titanium coil, or aluminum coil, or iridium coil. One of the coil one of these coils it doesn't really matter I think we'll probably make the gold coil since we've got so much gold and let's figure out how much what it takes to make a gold coil here gold coil pretty simple I think yeah it's just gold that's what I thought all right so let's make those so there's two there we go two gold coils then we need a power input plug Ah, now we more need more than that. We need a whole another workbench. Um, that scared me. There you are. Here, where are you? There you go. Workbench. All right, one more. Okay, so there's two of our coils. Crystallizer input output hatch, which we got from another reward. 
and we just need the power input plug yeah so how do we make that here input plug power input plug right batteries against the machine batteries were tin and iron right and redstone which we've got three already which we had more yeah well we just have to make some more and we need to make tin plates so we need four I think we have an iron rod in here steel rod aluminum rods no iron rods I think it's just two is it not yeah just two I can put these iron rods in here and what else do we need oh yeah redstone two redstone one two all right let's press go and press these plates getting there man this is taking forever just to make like one thing but I'm assuming we're gonna need more of these um, whatever the hell it is we're making right now anyway these wafers so I'm gonna make a bunch of them I know we need a few more for the uh, the other machine that we need to make so we'll probably make just enough of the two machines anyway when we do it let's get these batteries okay there's the plug now we need to get another one of those things for the uh, we got one in here there we go guys taking forever okay so um, where do we want to put this guy hollow projector maybe we put it I mean we could put it down here but we've got the cutting machine on the roof and that's probably not a good idea, idea to have something like that's powered up here. Um, I mean, we could put it right here. And then just run the power up and over. Probably. Um, sure. Why not? I got more input uh, energy conduits um, on the uh, make right now. So there's the input hatch, output hatch, input power plug. Uh, apparently it doesn't want to go where I want it to. There we go. Crystalliza. Coil, coil, and we need a wrench. Where's our wrench? took it out of our inventory because I thought we didn't need it all right so where are you here wrench okay let's actually put this back okay and does it not Right clicking on it, nothing's happening. Maybe we have no power. I don't know. What am I doing wrong here? Anybody? Help me out. Help a fella out here. Alright, we need six more of these. That should give us enough power cable. Maybe it just needs power. Maybe. And maybe not. We'll find out. Okay, let's run the power from here. And then we're going to put, uh, where is it here? This guy back up. Just we got a bit of light. I mean, we don't need it there, but we'll put it up there anyway. Uh, power cable. Oops. we getting the X here that's the output input what are we missing I put it together correctly oh my god what are we missing What 
do we do wrong here? So crystallizer, input, output, coils, power input plug, right? Crystallizer, input, output, right? Output, crystallizer. Plug's got power. Um, don't understand. Shift clicking and none of these are working here. Um, oh, come on. I did it right. It's got power. Um, what? What is it? What is I? What is it I'm missing here? What is it I'm missing? I don't understand what I'm missing. Crystallizer goes right there. It's got power. Why don't we just... Why does it not work? It should make the machine. Why aren't you making a machine? Alright, I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I kind of figured out, I think, where I went wrong here. And it's something that, that's actually not shown. And I've never worked with advanced rocketry before, so it was something I didn't know I needed to do. And it is a little bit resource intensive, in, especially for this pack. But it should be no problem because we have lots of resources right now. And actually, we've got four cauldrons right here. Good thing we picked those up because we need six of them. So we need 14. Okay, so let's make these first. This one's pretty resource intensive. So if you haven't picked up cauldrons, you're looking at seven times six, 42 iron, which is a fair chunk of iron. Um, so like I said, you know, scavenge as many resources from the world as you possibly can. All right, so the next thing we need is nether quartz, which we've got one here, and I think we've picked up nether quartz blocks. Yeah, blocks of quartz. We're gonna grind up some of these here. We need uh, four per, so we need uh, 24 here. So that should give us enough here. We'll just crush these guys up. Should give us four per block, I think. Oh, and we got two for that. There's four. Eh, I'm not getting as much as I was hoping. Gonna need more here. Just get three more in here. It's hoping four per block, but wait, do we just... No, I can't do it that way either. I was hoping we could. So that's enough for four. Come on, crit this one. Ah, are you serious? I'm gonna do this, because we're eventually gonna need this anyway, so I might as well just do this. Bet you this is four. Told you. <laughs> Story of my friggin' life, man. All right, so now we can put these together. So we need to do this in the center and then these guys are like this to make quartz crucibles and then these quartz crucibles go once again it was not obvious because it doesn't 
show you how to lay it out there. But you should just be able to wrench this now. What the hell is going on? Oh, I need power in here before I can wrench it, which means... Let's take this out one then. Ah, those come apart fast. My kids have asked me how I'm able to pick up stuff so quickly in this pack. Um, it's because I've just gotten in the habit of right clicking so fast now after um, after I perform a mining operation that it just I'm able to pick stuff up so fast. Uh, so don't think that it's I've got some kind of um, cheat or something installed on here because I don't. I still need to pick stuff up normally like everybody else. Okay, so that should give us power. Right? Yeah, that's power going in there. And I think we need power for, in order for this to work. So apparently this this particular machine, the, this is the only machine where the input hatch has to go on this side for some reason. I have no idea why. Apparently I was online. It's, that's, that's what it said anyway on YouTube. Okay, so that, there we go. Just right click on it and there it is. Okay, good. Finally. All right, let's get this going here. Uh, we need to do... Okay, I think it is, if I'm not mistaken, right, we need to do this, right, it's 10 per, I think, turn it on, look at that, love these animations, come on, make me some shiz, man, there it is, three, yay, now we take these guys, Put them in here, right? And then we turn it on. And it's going to cut these into wafers. Let's turn this off while we're at it. Don't need to be sucking power if we don't need to. Man, the animations, these guys that do this stuff, it's just fantastic. Now, I know it's Minecraft and it's like really blocky and stuff, but still, like, this is pretty cool, man. Gotta say. Good work, guys. Good work. All right, now we got our Wefels. Should have a bunch of these now. We got 12. Cool. Let's make sure we turn this machine off. And let's go down and assemble the rest of the stuff we need here. Oh, man. I said it was going to take a while, and it sure as heck did. So let's put these guys here so I know where they are. And then we're going to have to go out and kill some more of those creepers just so we can get this gun assembled and find out what it does today. So I want to do that. Let's put our power back in here. Our wrench can go back in here. So now we need to do... Um, we are working on the... Um, the spectralized... What the heck was it called? Ah, oh, for crying out loud. I'm losing my mind. Electrolyzer, not spectralizer. Oops. Elect... Rolliza. Here it is. Is that a planet selector? Cool. Electrolyza. So we need to make these basic circuits. That's the only thing that we're missing right now. So it's cutting these basic circuit plates into basic circuits in the cutting machine. Right? Silicone wafers. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Um... Did I mess up here? I probably messed up. Okay, basic circuits. Basic circuit plates, which is... Oh, no, we didn't. We need to use our precision assembler. Redstone, gold, and... Oh, why fair? Then we got to cut these guys up. Um, <laughs> my God, excuse me. We got to cut one of these up. Gives us four of these. So we don't need to make that many of them. Let's just make... Um, let's just make a couple of these. Um, so many steps. Silicone wafers. We got the wafers, right? 
we need to assemble, we need one, one, and one. That gives us one of these, and then we get four outputs. So we just need two of these. Sure, let's put these wafers in here. Um, and let's, where's our precision assembler here? Now we gotta figure out how to put this together. We're probably most likely going to need a lot more junk to do it. Um, so let's see if the precision assembler, there we go. Stop it. So we got one, two, It doesn't really matter what's there. This thing's huge, man. Look at this. Oh, come on, man. Guys. We need two motors. Why are these all... Does it doesn't really matter what we put around the outside. They definitely want copper coils on the inside. Two motors. Precision assembler we have. Does this mean they can go anywhere? Because we're going to need a power plug, right? Oh man, wish that was more clear. Clear as mud. Um, yeah man. I thought we had, we got one motor, we got an elite motor. Uh, we got one copper coil, let's make another copper coil. And I'm gonna put uh, this stuff in here for now. Just so we have room to work. This is for our uh, last, the machine that we're actually working on. I guess if it was easy, it wouldn't be really a challenge now, would it? All right, there's our copper coil. So we got two of those, we need another motor. Um, So the elite motor, we're not going to make an elite one. We're going to make a gold one. That's relatively easy. Um, it says it doesn't matter what they are. Gold, because we got lots of gold. So it's steel plates and gold coils plus steel rods, right? Yeah. I think we've got a couple steel rods. Got one. Um, we need two rods, three plates. I think it's just two of these for rods. Yeah, we can make regular steel rods that way. So let's put, we need two of these, right? And it didn't matter which ones they were. So let's use those two. Oh, we got like five steel rods here. Uh, let's get some steel plates. Um, let's make three of those. And we need two gold coils. So let's do those first. I hope this works, man. So I messed this up. It's a lot of resources down the drain here. One. Two. Three. Three steel plates. Ah, ah, ah. All right. Let's build this together. So we're gonna build it down here first and we'll disassemble it and take it upstairs. So there's the other motor. Uh, I think if we do that, then at least we'll have a good idea if we got this right or not. Um, so motor, motor, two copper coils, right? And then our precision machine, right? So now, I think what this is saying, so we gotta like make another input hatch, like for power, All right? So let's do input. Uh, I don't know if we need a fluid. We do ne definitely need one of these regular input hatches and we do nef definitely need an output hatch and a power input plug, which we know how to make, right? It's uh, tin plates, steel rod, or iron rod, sorry. So let's get our, wow, this redstone's starting to grow pretty fast. It's probably a good thing. 
Let's put these in here too. Just so they're not clouding us up. So we need uh, 410. And we need uh, iron rod. And we need two redstone. So let's go and put the tin in here and make us some plates. All this to make like one machine to finish one quest. This is crazy. Like, it's just crazy. But you know what? Once again, I guess if it's easy, it wouldn't really be a challenge now, would it? So let's do this, this, and this. Four batteries. And then we need to get another machine structure. Actually, while we're doing that, let's get two more. Because we're going to need an input and an output hatch, which are easy enough to make. So we're going to put this in the center. So there's this one. There's this one. And there is this one. So input, output, and power input plug. Let's put our power input plug here. And then let's put input hatch. Mm, does it matter really? Like, let's put it here and the output patch how it, yeah, hatched there and then let's just see if we can we got to make more machine structures so that is uh iron plates iron rods so we got enough iron rods oh wait we got enough steel rods <sighs> okay now we got enough iron rods so let's put these two back. Let's make some iron plates. You know, somebody should write a wiki for all the materials you're going to need to finish everything off in the pack so that all you have to do is like grab the exact amount of material you need to build all this stuff. And then you you know, it'll somewhat, it'll say like you need 65 iron plates to finish off all the quests so that you can just make them all in one shot. That would be kind of neat. And no, I'm not going to be the one that does that because, just because. All right, now let's see if we can just do it with this. Just for the sake of argument. Now we should just be able to right click. No, so we can't do that. So we do need the fluid input uh, hatch. Got the power. Fluid input, fluid output. Okay. Okay, no, fair enough. I thought we had fluid hatches, but I guess I'm wrong. That's interesting. Alright, so fluid input hatch is a bucket. I wonder if we get that bucket back. Where's our bucket? Did we not make a bucket yet? Cause it's like iron it's like iron plates. Do we find a bucket? Nutrient distillation bucket. We can probably stick the nutrient distillation somewhere. Unless this doesn't give us a bucket back. Which is maybe likely. Let's just drop this over here. Let's just see here for a second. Just because, you know, I'm crazy like that. Let's do this. Grab this stuff. Drop that in. Will this go in here? It will! We got an iron bucket! Yeah! Free bucket! Yeah, baby! Okay, put this stuff in here. You can go over there and let's see. I don't know, I bet you we don't get it back. Probably not. But that's alright. Yeah, we don't get it back. We gotta make another one. Uh, okay. That was one of our quests anyway, so we need one of these. Gonna need three iron. Um, we got lots of iron anyway. All right, let's make some more. One, two. Can't jump the gun on this. Three. There it is. All right, let's make ourselves a bucket. It's bizarre that they gated buckets behind like iron plates. What? the hell is going on? Bucket. Damn it. 
Oh, God, really? Oh, string. Okay. No, no, we can do that. I thought it was something else crazy here. Two string. We can do certainly do that. We got crap tons of string. Ah! Okay. I knew it was iron plates in a and a uh, rod. I just didn't forgot all about having to use the. Uh, there we go. Now we got fluid input and output hatches. Let's put them here because if we're gonna do it, we might as well put the input fluid input and output right by the power, because you know, where else would we put it? it makes total sense to do it that way. Uh, and right, uh, we're forgetting something here. Um, I think I'm gonna have to go and check out again. All right, give me a second. Oh my God, guys, where do you get a load of this? If you've never put together the prisoner, prisoner assembler before, I haven't done any advanced rocketry, so I have no uh, familiarization with this stuff. But wait do you see what we have to do to get this thing running. I thought the last one was bad, but <laughs> I mean, resource-wise, this isn't too bad compared to the other. Well, I don't know. They're both not that bad. I think I'm going to need more than this, but we're going to take these. Uh, we'll probably need to make more. Oh my God. And I need uh, two of these. <sighs> okay, let's go upstairs. Uh, we're going to need power. Hang on a minute. We're going to need power. We're definitely going to need power. Uh, you know what? Let's just bite the bullet. I mean, it's not really biting the bullet, but... Just make a bunch more power cables. We'll just make 16 more. Don't think we'll need 16 for this in any way, shape, or form, but... Still going to need a bunch. Uh, let's remove this torch. Because we're going to use this space right here, and we're going to run our power from this back corner. I'm really hoping that we don't need to do this exactly as it, like, I mean, I know this needs to be here. Uh, it can go back one, I think, right? This is a three, four by three. So like that. And then we want to do power input plug back here. Now, it was saying that the fluid input and output hatches, there's no real use for them. Uh, let's get our output hatch here, input hatch here. They said there's no real use for them. Um, whether or not that's true, we'll have to find out. Okay, so then we need our coils, and we need our motors. And I don't think it matters which ones they are. I don't even think they have to match. Uh, but we do need to put them in there. And then we need uh, these guys. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, I think we're gonna. We need a lot more, and then we gotta put glass in here and here. So we need four, six more. We gotta make a whole other stack. All right, let's go get some more iron plates. Anybody keeping track? How many plates is that we've made? I have no idea. I don't think we even got four. Uh, we don't even have four iron rods. So let's make a bunch more. Thank you. At least these things are relatively cheap to build. I mean, six iron for this many plates, or this many uh, blocks. Is that, it's 16 blocks, so eight iron for 16 blocks. Pretty good. Pretty good resource-wise. All right. And I'm assuming we're going to need a fair, more, a fair amount more of these in the future for the other machines that we're going to have to make, I'm imagining. So I think we're going to have to refix the roof too to get that running properly. Now let's get our, uh, before we go any further, let's go ahead and we need 12 of these. Take that out. And we'll do that and that. And we got plenty of power. I don't, we don't, we don't need these for upstairs, but I'm just going to hold on to them for now. We only need like one, I think. Uh, so let's get the rest of this done. So that's theoretically how it's supposed to go. There we go. Cool, eh? Did I get, where did that go off? Go off in the water? The whole reason why we use uh, concrete to build your base with anything else and you're just asking for trouble once those friggin uh, drones come with those with the uh, exploding uh, blades you definitely want to have concrete up definitely protecting all your stuff because it's like where are you shooting 
Should really be checking out where we should probably shooting more fish, but let's get some power in this thing. Alright, so in theory. Yeah, we got power. Should be working now. So let's go get our stuff. This is cool, man. Look at this anim look at this. I can't wait to see what the animation's like. I went online once again, went to YouTube just to see how it's done. And I didn't even check out the animation because I wanted to to do it with you guys here just to see how it looks. So let's grab our stuff that we need to put in. So let's go do that. All this to make a few freaking wafers, man. Okay, so input hatch is here. There's those. And then let's turn this thing on. Well, that's... Sure. Stamp us up some wafers, baby. One more. No more. So we only need two, right? Because we've got to cut these basic circuit plates up. Let's turn this off. So we're not just needlessly using power. Although I don't think it continuously uses power. Uh, let's get these in the input hatch and turn it on. Let's cut these wafers up. I wish it had a sound. Although it would kind of be annoying. Like it was like a zzzz, like a bandsaw sound. I think people would just get really annoyed with that. Most likely. I know I would. But it would be cool. Definitely be cool. Alright, so there's our basic circuits, finally. After all of this, we finally got basic circuits. Alright. Oh my god. Okay, let's get this stuff back. All this for one machine. And if I remember correctly how to make this... Yes. Electrolyzer. This machine is apparently really big to make too. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so we got the electrolyzer quest done today. Uh, let's claim our reward. We got a fluid input and output hatch. So that's this one. Now, chemical reactions. We need a chemical reactor. And I don't know how resource intensive that is going to be. We're going to have to build a whole second floor upstairs, I think. Uh, let's check out that. Um... Chemical reactor, gold plates, circuit boards. We got this. We can make these. Liquid I.O. board. Oh, yeah, we can do this stuff. Right? We need, so, three iron plates. Right? And these are, uh, this is copper, this is gold. We got these now. Gold plates. Right? We need, so we need three iron plates. Three more diamonds. Okay, let's just do this here. So we need... Uh, six redstone, right? Six redstone. We're going to need uh, three iron plates. So let's get those out. Uh, we need gold grit. We need four lapis. And we need copper grit. So let's go see if we actually have any in here. So we don't have to actually make any. Uh, it doesn't look that way. Nope. All right. Let's go make some then. So we need one gold grit and four copper grit. Yep, and we'll do that real quick. That should just go real fast. Grab the nether quartz out of here, put it back in here. So at least we have some for the next time we need some. That's if we need some. There's that and that, and we got our wood. Uh, let's make our iron plates. At least we don't have to keep switching this around a lot of, for like wire or whatever else. I really want to get that barbed wire fence and wall outside done at some point, but I think I want to get these machines built first because we got to get into getting this rocket done. All right, so we're going to put this here, right? And that, like that. Three of those. And these, and we didn't get any diamonds, did we? Did not get the diamonds. Thank God we're getting diamonds from those strainers. All right, we need one of those. One of these, one of these. We, got, we need two of these. What else do we need? Machine structure and gold plates and another user interface, which is lime green. All right, that's easy enough. So we remember how to make lime green, which is our cactus green. I think we can just make that straight in the crusher. 
or the uh, thing over there. So we need this. So let's grab two gold for plates. And then let's grab, uh, we need two redstone. No, one redstone and two glowstone, which we have lots of. So again, I'm going to reiterate this as we're doing this. Um, you really want to make sure you go out and get as much resources at the beginning as you can, because the harder uh, or the farther along you go, oops, not in here, um, the harder and harder it's going to be to go out and get resources. All right, so we needed to do, what do we need to do? Oh, yeah, this. Will it not? Oh, I can't make multiples? Ah, fine, fine. Um, will it work in the pelvis? How do I make cactus? Oh, do I cook this down again? I can make a cactus sword. Um, smelting. Sure. Because that makes it easier. There we go. Now we got our lime green. Perfect. Let's do this like that, like this, like this. And then we need our two gold plates. My god, this is taking forever. Yeah, shoot those guys out there. It's all fish that are being shot right now. Look how many of them are out there, though. Like, that's a lot of fish out there. Um, so like this, like this, um, like this, this and this. I'm trying to remember now how it all went. Like that. Sure was. There's the chemical reactor. Boom. Done. Now, I'm sure it's got, like, a massive multi-block structure that goes along with it. Let's take the Bottles of Enchanting and claim that reward. So we got our tanks of oxygen and hydrogen, which are great. I'm assuming we're definitely going to need these for the ship. And what I'm going to do before we finish today's episode, uh, let's grab all our XP, and we're going to make one more thing today that I really want to do. Uh, I've been thinking about doing this for a while, and I just keep slipping my mind. So we're going to put this stuff away first. I should actually make another um, another chest for all this. Because I think we should just be... Fo well, the rocketry stuff's all going to go away. So I need, uh, I think, three of these. Three? Find out in a second here. Um, uh, That's it there. Experience Obelisk. We need a machine chassis. Experience Rod, which is energetic alloy and two solarium. Energetic is... Yes, these three. It's easy enough to make. So one gold, uh, a redstone, and a glowstone. And we need five solarium. So we can do that as well. Uh, that's the energetic. That's the solarium. And then we need... Machine chassis, which is plates and stuffs. Do we have machine chassis left? No, we don't. Is it? Now, was it plates and rods? What was it again? No. Uh, basic capacitor. Do we have any capacitors left? Good question. Yeah, we need, yeah, well, I'm picking this up already. We need four of these. Uh, we got a double layer capacitor. That I took up, you know what, this, let's go put this back in the farming machine. Because I think it's, yeah, it's only getting the internal. So that should be in there now. Yeah, so now it'll start grabbing everything. Like, look at this. It's going to grab it all. Yeah, it's already grabbing the uh, watermelon. Right? Uh, where is it? Yep, grabbing the melons. Cool. At least we're getting it going this way. It's kind of working. Okay. Um, right. What were we doing here? So let's make this solarium uh, that way. And then we want to do this. And then let's make ourselves four iron plates. Okay, almost got this done. Because what I want to start doing is I want to start... Because I want to enchant my gear and stuff, the last thing you want is to not have 
experience to do that. And if you go out and get yourself killed, you're going to lose it. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm just going to make an experience obelisk, which we're going to dump all our experience into. And we're going to leave it there. Um, all right, almost done here. We're going to leave it there um, just so that when we do need to enchant stuff, we have, actually have the ability to do that. Uh, we need to make the machine chassis first. So we need to make another four of these. We need two redstone. God, man, I'm glad we're growing the redstone. I really am. Um, it goes really fast. All right, so this is easy enough. That goes in the center. And then it's these and these and these. Yeah, where are you here? Nope, bottom. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. There it is, folks. Experience obelisk. Let's put this for now right here. And right click on it and then store all. Takes our 26 levels away, puts it in here. And we can leave. And then whenever we want it back, we can come and take it all. So I'm going to leave it all in here. Ah, uh, God, that feels better not to have to worry about having losing all that. All right, so we did pretty well today overall. I thought we got a lot done today. Got our machines done. We got the quest done here. Um, got our bottles of enchanting. We're working on getting fueled up. We need to get tanks of rocket fuel. Uh, so that's going to be the next thing that we need to do. Um, we'll have to figure out how to make these. I don't know how to make them, but we'll figure it out. Um, we're getting there anyway. So that will be most likely the next episode. Uh, I do want to go and finish the... Um, the rocket uh, launch pad underground. Oh, that's where the uh, thing hit, right there. Uh, that's where it hit. Let's go block that back up, man. Yeah. All right, I'll probably clear these out. I don't know if we'll be able, if we need to use these much anymore. We've got a fair bit of stuff, although this is giving us some more barbed wire here, so cannot say no to barbed wire. Take some extra sticks here. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, you know, these things work pretty well. They give you a half decent amount of stuff. Like I said, this one will give you diamonds. This one, barbed wire and redstone if you really need it. But, you know, all the polished dorite and dorite and things like this, you can turn these into um, um, stone-headed crossbow bolts, which do a little bit more damage uh, than the regular wood-headed ones. And I don't think you need to go to iron head. I don't think I've ever needed the iron-headed ones. So it's just, unless you've got tons of iron, it's really just a waste of iron. Um... But, I mean, you saw how the crossbow was performing there a little while ago. So it wasn't so bad. We also got a lot of nether wart here. Okay. So we're going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And uh, you can drop any comments in the comment section down below. And hopefully next time when we come back, we'll keep working on the rocket. I might have that uh, rocket launch site done by then. I won't, won't be recording until the weekend. You'll be seeing this probably on Friday night. Uh, but I'll be recording on the weekend. I'm recording this earlier in the week. Um, so I'll have some time to do some work before the weekend, hopefully, to get some stuff up and running. Um, get that launch pad ready to go so we can put start and put stuff in there. We're going to have to dig down here, so we'll have to move all this stuff, but dig down, set it up so that we can access the launch site from here. So we're going to work on doing that. All right? All right. So until next time, we'll see you all later.